a young entrepreneur's project that was piloted by the uh, Jack Petchy Foundation uh, in Basden and in Harlow, OK? And uh, it was sort of, a, uh, sort of a Dragon's Den style for funding through groups or community projects of their choice. And they had to identify an area of need, make a funding application and pitch ideas to a panel of experts. And, of course, of all the applications received, uh, five of them uh, received up to a maximum of £2,000 towards their project. And uh, the shortlisted groups who attended a specialist boot camp uh, where they've received uh, public uh, speaking training to help them pitch their ideas and uh, the winning projects i'm just going to mention the basildon ones um we've got two in basildon we've got the basildon youth council uh, were awarded two thousand pounds to deliver their cyber stop project to drive awareness and provide support for victims of cyberbullying and they were creating information literature and a music video to spread awareness about the serious nature of the issue and encourage young people to fight against uh, fight against it and of course um Maria Karate Kai from Basden awarded £1,500 for a confidence building programme for Year 7 students upon joining secondary school and they will run workshops in schools and use confidence building exercises and expert advice from their karate tutors to deliver the project and I'm pleased to say that Ryan, Chloe and Charlotte are here from the karate Hello. Hello. Hi. So, Hi. so you all took part in the Face the Challenge. Indeed. Yeah. So who gave the presentation? So it was like Dragon's Den. I've watched that programme. So um, who gave the presentation and who spoke? Us. All, all, all of us. All, did. all three of us. And did you have anything, any sort of props or...? Uh... No props. No. Well, we had a script. Other than a script. Yeah. OK, so, so tell me about the, the, the presentation that you did. Can you remember what you did? What Vaguely. You based it on? Go on in. Well... Go on, Ryan. Obviously, we, we spoke about what we're doing. We yep. were running a, a workshop for Year 7s who are fitting into secondary school. Um, people that might not have uh, as much confidence as others, we want to kind of build their confidence and make sure they fit into the school as best they can. OK, so what was the boot camp like, um, Charlotte? Um, it was really good because it increased our confidence and it was something different that we haven't experienced before. Mm -hmm. And I gave you tips about, you know, how to speak and what you should be looking for. Yeah, when you it's something we can take on in the future. And you had to do boot camp, otherwise you wouldn't get through to the next round, is that right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So this has been going on for quite some time and you had to go to Harlow, I understand, uh, for uh, one of the um, activities. So you gave your presentation. Uh, what happened after that? We gave the presentation, we watched everyone else do theirs, obviously sportsmanship. Yeah. We kind of let the judges, uh, judges have their time, and then they made the decisions, and we got given the grant, along with uh, four other groups. Yes, uh, the first Kingsmore Scouts uh, in Harlow, Phoenix uh, Theatre School as well, as well as the uh, Raised Roof in Harlow, and Basildon Youth Council here in Basildon, and of course Maru Karate Kai in, here in Basildon as well. So, uh, excellent stuff. And your £1,500 I say is for confidence building programme for Year 7 students. Do we know what schools yet that, that's going to be happening in? We identified five schools in Basildon. Yeah. Yep. Yes, um, local schools, Woodlands, yep. Battle of Academies, Academy, De La Salle. Yeah, so that, those are some of the schools that are going to be taking part in this. And it's to use confidence building exercise and expert advice from karate tutors to, to deliver the project. And of course, um, you're going to be teaching what karate, aren't you, in a way? We decided to do karate because it was something that increased our confidence. Yeah. And we thought if we incorporate that, then we know that it will yeah, be it will, effective. Like, help us. Yeah, and I've, I've got to say, I mean, um, year sevens, I mean, you know, new to new to secondary school, it's a bit, I don't know if I remember step. it, it's a big step, isn't it? You know, some people go to uh, one, one school and they spend their life, you know, all their life in one school. <laughs> but fair. if you jump from one school to another, I know when I jump from junior school to secondary school, there's only two of us, and you really do feel, you know, yeah. when, especially when you get into a sec secondary school and they split me and my mate up, he was in another class, and there's only, you know, you've got to make friends. And so I think that, that year seven probably is a cool, cool age to be able to um, to, do, to do what you want to do. And how long is it going to last once you're up and running? Is it well, just for a term? Or? We've, we've got six weeks to do it. We've got a six-week kind of period, and we decided to split it in half, purely because then we can take uh, a wider variety of kids in, which gives them a better chance to kind of make friends, um, make groups. And, um, yes, yeah, so we've got a three-week course, so we have a Saturday session for two hours Fantastic. every week. Fantastic. Now, I know you've got a Facebook page, and uh, do you want to give, shout that out? Yes, Maru Kai. Okay. Check it out on Facebook. Search it. Search it. Search it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. See that sort of assertiveness there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And uh, also, um, can I just mention, of course, um, it, who's teaching it? The, the, this um, who's going to be teaching? Mark Grayston. Ma- not not Mark Grayston. No, um, Mark Grayston's going to be taking the karate side, obviously professionals. Yeah. Um, but to run the whole thing itself, we've got we a group so. of a group of yeah. kids from the club itself. Um, I think we've got nine nine kids. And we've got volunteers, like yeah. parents who are willing to help us and support us. So it's good. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, thanks, guys, for coming in. I know you were on uh, uh, earlier on with our colleague friends over at BBC Essex today as well. And, of yes. course, it's good to get publicity. And well done to the Jack Petty organisation. Uh, because I know you, you run the Jack Petty scheme, the Achievers as well. That's new to you as well. So you've been running that a couple of times and uh, already benefiting. So well done to Jack Petty organisation for putting this uh, project together. And um, we wish you well. Can you come back at sort of once it's over and let us know how, how it's gone? We can, yes. yes. Can you do that? Yes. And of course, yeah. um, That'd be great. It's good to see you all without Mr Grayston here. <laughs> it really is. And, of course, Mark Grayston, not, not the Olympic torchbearer Mark Grayston. Not no, not, not the no, Olympic no. torchbearer Mark Grayston, no. no. Of not. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks Thank very you. much Thank to, uh, to Charlotte Chloe and to Ryan. Thank you.